Hi guys, it's me, Kristen from Happily Ever Us, and today I wanted to talk with you about meditation and the basics of meditation and the benefits of meditation and how you can add it into your life. It's a really incredible practice and it freaks a lot of people out. Like, what am I supposed to do? Do I just sit and not think of anything for like 20 minutes? Like, that's really intense. Don't worry, I've got you covered. We're going to talk about it all. If you know me, you'd know that before I became yoga teacher certified, I maybe did yoga three times a month. Maybe. That's when I was really trying. Yes. Then I joined this yoga club, Yoga Pod. And if you work as a karma yogi, if you clean their studio for three hours, you get a membership. You get to go as much as you want. And so I started going. I mean, nothing serious, just like maybe three times a week compared to three times a month. And so I asked myself, what's different? I'm eating the same. I'm drinking the same. The only thing that was different, there was a sound inside of me that said meditation. Because I was doing yoga three times a week or four times a week, I was adding meditation into my life three or four times a week, which I hadn't had before. Do you see what I'm saying? It made the difference between me feeling completely insane and unable to have a com conversation <laughs> to feeling sane and feeling okay inside of myself. Meditation made that difference for me. And that was the moment when I decided that I wanted to teach yoga to other people because I want to share the meditation with them and that same healing. Meditation can be scary. Thankfully, there are things that you can use to help you and to make it a little bit easier for you, especially if it's your first time. So if you are brand new to meditation, I recommend maybe getting one of the apps. They have a couple apps now. They have, I believe it's called Headspace. There's an app called Calm. Literally go into your app store and look up meditation and you'll find some of them to help you. And a lot of them have timers. Start small with yourself. Give yourself two minutes. People say start with five. I think five minutes is actually a pretty long time. If you think about all the things that you can do in five minutes, start with two minutes. And it doesn't have to be where you're absolutely quiet and thoughts don't come into your mind. When thoughts do come into your mind, it's important for you to say, hello, I see you. Send it on its way. That's it. And if it's an important thought, like something you need to remember, acknowledge it. Hello, I see you. Can you come to me again later? Like, that's all. So your thought comes in, man, I need to wash the dog today. Great. Hello, I see you. I need to wash the dog today. Can you come to me later? Let it pass. Oh my God, don't think about not washing the dog today. That's not okay. If you tell yourself not to think, what are you going to do? You're going to sit and think. Allow things in, allow things out. Now, if sitting in silence isn't your thing, I understand. I recently learned about the power of malas. They taught about malas in my yoga teacher training. So the first one that I bought, it was this one right here. It's little wooden beads on an elastic string. It was made by someone here in Colorado. It was $5 on Etsy. I think it was about $1.50 to ship. And it was a lifesaver. I wore it around my wrist as a bracelet. And I still do sometimes. And when I'm stuck in traffic or I start to feel myself get anxious or stressed out, I unwind it and use it. It's almost like a rosary or some kind of prayer beads. You're basically using it to count how many times you're saying your mantra. So if you're stuck in traffic and you're like, oh, <laughs> I'm about to scream at this girl. Get it together. Grab your mala. Repeat your mantras. Malas have 108 beads on them. 108 is a sacred number. There are so many incidents where things have to do with 108. I'm not gonna name them all for you. You can look it up. It's, it's a thing, keeping that in mind. When you have a mantra, you repeat it 108 times. When I first got mantras, I had about four mantras 
And I would just repeat all four of them and go through 27 times math. Math is magic. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> in my yoga teacher training, we learned more about meditation and we learned about making our own malas and I made one for myself. This is really wonderful. It's made out of emesonite. The reason I picked it was because that day I was wearing a Wonder Woman onesie and she's an Amazon, but it turned out to mean truth and inner truth. And I think that's something that I really need more of in my life. It has a tassel, my charm I had from a broken bracelet I had saved. It's personal. It's mine. It means a lot to me. Let's talk about mantras. Kristen, you keep using this word mantra. What does that mean? Don't worry. <laughs> I've got you. So a mantra is a phrase or a saying that you use to meditate with. For example, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. What does that mean? I bow to the teacher in myself and I bow to the teacher in everyone, essentially. So basically you're saying, I have the wisdom in myself and I see the wisdom in others. Really beautiful. Other mantras that you can use are something that you want for yourself. For example, one of the mantras that I was using for myself is I make my own schedule. For me, in a lot of ways, it felt like things were pulling at me from all directions, telling myself, I make my own schedule over and over and over again. Let me know, Kristen, you are in control. You're in control of your time. That sounds really basic, but it worked. <laughs> now I have a schedule that I love and I teach yoga. It's fun. <laughs> a mantra that I've been using recently is I am worthy. So I went through 108 times and said, I am worthy. And halfway through the meditation, I decided to go through into my past and find the areas where I didn't feel worthy all the way from my childhood to as far up here as I could handle it. And I found myself in those moments, me as a child crying in my bed or me <laughs> as an adult crying in my car a lot of tears. I cry a lot. But I found myself in those moments where I felt the least worthy. And I said, you are worthy. I am worthy. And I allowed that mantra to heal me from the inside out. It was an incredibly powerful experience. And I hope, I hope that every single person can have similar experiences with their meditations. It has opened up so many doors for me inside myself inside what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling and how things are interacting with me and how I'm interacting with them. Like I said, meditation in itself has a lot of benefits and I encourage you to try it. Make it a part of maybe a morning ritual. Wake up 10 minutes early and spend five minutes meditating and five minutes journaling or two minutes meditating and eight minutes journaling. And then one day, maybe you'll get to a point where you spend all 10 meditating. Don't put pressure on yourself. Let it be right where it is. Thank you. Bye. Be sure to subscribe, check out our channel and watch some of our other videos and visit our website at happilyeverest.com to see what else we've been up to.